best way to describe college series so everybody could understand is like, think of Halloween. When you are a kid, what do you want to do for Halloween? You want to dress up like your favorite character, right? So putting these kids in a college series, they're putting on the costume of a college player. They're playing in a college game. It's showing them like, hey, I can go to college someday. Hey, I could probably play football in college someday. Come on, you all right? No, 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 no palms up. You good. Just keep playing, just keep playing. It ain't gonna be perfect. Come on, let's go. It ain't gonna be perfect. With us with A and B, we like to do that with the coaches first. Make sure that we surround ourselves with good coaches. By surrounding ourselves with good coaches, those coaches can understand what, what it is that Coach Brandon and I want to do or how we want to be involved with players and stuff in their lives and stuff like that. Right behind us on this side right here, that's the student section. I really became close with Brian. He's always helped me. He's always called my mom and like wanted me to like I do all these things because he knows he, he believes in me. When you're a coach or a teacher or like really any type of like position of like learning and mentorship, I would say like the impact you can have on a kid's life is baby I think like I like I think about this all the time. I wouldn't be here like the student athlete I am today, not just the athlete without so many teachers. I feel like with him when it comes to like football, he just it's kinda what I'm trying to like grow into just seeing the kids grow up into like NFL stars, college football stars, just being able to put them in that right position and helping them. You gotta widen him out. They got, they got three running backs over there. His sister. You think you think he didn't tell me about that? Really? Yeah. You think he didn't tell me about that? What do you mean? Seekonk is a really hidden town in the state of Massachusetts. Everybody, everybody knows everybody, and everybody knows everybody. A lot of people don't expect expect small towns to be recognized for football but there's always few there's always some few players or people from different parts that you would not expect to be that high of a level um, one coach told me if you're good they'll find you I think that's true to an extent but I think the most important thing is like exposure. Like the more you can put yourself out there, that's all it really takes. It really takes that one. Like everybody knows it just takes that one. It takes that one offer to like blow up. It takes that one coach to, you know, give you an official visit to blow up. And that's why I'm so driven. So when I work out, I think about my family. I think about my culture. I think about, about me. Lucas, he's just taking everything to the next level. I really think he wants to play D1 college football and he knows what he has to do to get there. As a single mom, I just wanted to make sure that he had the same opportunity as everybody else. I, I just want them to live, live life and have fun, and uh, I want them to have better opportunities than I had, and I just want them to be successful. That's, that's my ultimate goal. Brian, you stuck with me. By the way, you stuck with Mama Cooney for a very, very long time. God bless that man. <laughs>